Hey Glitter Critter! Yes, this video is about edible room decor. But you know what the most awesome edible world or land is? Not free land, candy land! Hey Glitter Critters, it's Freeland here and today, yes, another edible video. I'm gonna be showing you how to make edible room decor. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering, um, really Breland? But it's actually a lot of fun and really easy to create edible room decor. So make sure you subscribe to become an official Glitter Critter so you'll never miss another video like this one. Before we get started, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Line Play. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. So Line Play is such a fun app. It's the world's largest avatar social network. So it's grown to over 30 million global users and Line Play allows every player to recreate their own identity into a lovable little avatar. Or you could just go on really exciting adventures within the app. It is so much fun. So you can take a selfie to generate a virtual avatar that looks just like you or you can create your own avatar and customize individual features and there's a wide range of eyes, ears, mouth, noses to create your very own unique identity. Alright, so I really love this part. So you can become a fashionista and there's over 30 billion avatar style combinations and 200 new fashion items every single week. So in this game you have this virtual currency which is called gems, but you can also purchase gems with actual money and you can use these gems to redesign your entire house. So a new feature in line play is to be able to add up to three floors. Now I have an option to buy a third floor. So here you can choose between all these really cute room styles. Ooh, love it. So we definitely need a cute table. This one is perfect. You can actually decide exactly where you want the table. Love this one. Let's put the rug down. Put our pictures on the wall. We gotta have a camera. Definitely need this little stuffed animal here too. Put some of our goodies on the rug. Now that the room is complete, I decided to take one of the items from this virtual room and recreate it in reality into an edible room decor creation. What else is really cool is you can invite your friends over to have a virtual hangout and like party it up. This game is so much fun. If you're interested in downloading it, it's absolutely free and it's available on iPhone and Android devices. I'll be sure to post the link at the top of the description below where you can download Loaded. You can also log in with Twitter, Facebook, or the LINE messaging app. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video, and I'm pretty sure you're ready to get started. Decorating your room with edibles, food, or candy isn't as crazy as you may think it is. It's actually super cheap, on budget, and really, really cute and pretty. There's a lot of things that you can actually preserve. So this first DIY I'm going to show you was inspired by Line Play, which is the app I talked about in the beginning. And I really love these cute little cupcakes here. So I decided to make these out of this edible decoration dough. And the reason I'm using this is because you can let it dry, it will harden, and you can keep it on a shelf for years. So you could keep these little cupcakes for years and years after you make them. I decided to use a candy mold for this, but you can actually mold this with your hands if you want. And I heated up the dough in the microwave and then squished it into the mold. So these are perfect decorations you can sit on your shelf. And I learned later on that you could actually make these into little containers. I just didn't use that part of the mold. I really wish I would have known because they would actually have a purpose besides, you know, just sitting on a shelf for your desk collecting dust. But hey, they're still super cute and they would make a great paperweight. So I chilled these in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then popped them right out. So I decided to color the tops of these cupcakes with a few of my 
my spray colors. And then I'm just adding some super colorful sprinkles to the top. Now this resembles the one from Line Play, the purple one with the red heart on top. The blue cupcake in the game, it didn't have sprinkles, but I gotta add some sprinkles. But it did have a white decoration on top, so I put this cute little fondant cupcake. I added a little water to the top, so that way the sprinkles would stick. And the pink cupcake is just a customized cupcake that came straight from my crazy brain. Macaroons or macarons, how do you pronounce it? To make this super magical macaroon jar, I just put a napkin in the bottom, I actually cut it to fit all pretty like. Then I filled it with some colorful macaroons. I purchased the jar and candle holder at the Dollar Tree for a dollar each, two dollars for this display. And then I just painted the lid and the candle holder to match each other. Last, just glue the jar on top, and now you have this super delicious, magical, and enchanting interactive room decor. To me, I think clocks are super magical. It kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter, the rabbit, all of that. So what I did was I took this clear clock that was inside of my locker, and I removed the paper graphics and filled it with sprinkles. I wish I had a larger clock because I know it would look so much cuter in a room, but this is gonna look super cute inside the locker. Have you ever wanted to recreate an emoji in real life? Well, this is a recreation of the popcorn emoji, just to set in your room as a cute decoration. So you can either pop your own popcorn or use pre-made popcorn like I did in a bag. And I filled up this classic popcorn container, which I got at Party City. Then you could just set it on a shelf in your room. And you could tell all your friends it's a real life popcorn emoji, so cute. I like to call this DIY a lollipop night light. So a night lolly. <laughs> So I'm using some of these fiber optic hair lights that I got on Amazon and I used some Elmer's glue to glue it to the back of the night lolly. <laughs> I just can't with that. So I got these clear lollipops at Party City and now you can just turn the light on and watch them glow in your room. You can also put them in a vase. Have you ever heard of lickable wall art? Well, I'm about to show you. I'm about to tell you all about it. So I took a cardstock 8x10 piece of paper. You could also use any type of cardboard paper. And then I took some of this gel food coloring slash icing and I just drew a bee. Next, I put a bunch of these rainbow sprinkles on it and it stuck to it. And then after I pressed it down a little bit, let it dry for a minute, I just shook it to reveal my beautiful new initial and lickable wall art. How cool is that? So did you know you could paint with frosting? Yes, you heard that correctly. To make this donut wall art, I used a food marker to draw the donut shape. I traced around this tape and the lid of a sprinkle container. Next, I took some gel orange food coloring as well as some brown, mixed it together to get that golden donut look. I'm using an old makeup brush that I don't use anymore. I made sure to sanitize every single tool that I am using in this video because you wanna make sure it's sanitized if you are planning to lick your wall art. So weird. I took some of this beautiful pink frosting and I just put it on top of the donut. I used a little bit of water to spread it out over the donut. And what this is going to do is it's going to harden and you can keep this on the wall for years, just like the fondant. And I added some sprinkles and then pressed them down into the frosting and it will eventually harden. So after it hardens, I went ahead and cut my donut out and this really gives it a 3D look. Next, I got another piece of that cardstock paper and I taped it up to create some of these stripes here. I sprayed it down with some of my gold food spray and look how cute these stripes came out. Next, I just used some frosting to glue the donut on because we're keeping all of this edible. Frosting's actually a pretty good glue. And because I wanted the letters to be kind of imperfect and brushed on, I used some black gel food coloring and drew the letters on with my makeup brush. And it came out so cute. Look how cute this looks. 
now I can hang this on the wall for years to come. So you may be thinking electronics and food don't mix, but you know what? I'm gonna show you how you can mix the two. I'm showing you how to make this really cute donut foam stand. I'm taking some more of this edible dough and I used some of this white because I really just needed a base for this and I just rolled it into the cylinder shape. I was thinking at first it looks like a burrito, so you can make this a burrito foam stand too. And next I took some of this donut colored edible dough. I'm actually surprised I found this odd color and I just put that over the white. I just flattened it over with my little fondant tool and then I'm taking some of this brown or chocolate edible dough and I flattened that out as well and put it over the donut shape so that way it kind of looks like it was poured on. Now it really looks like a chocolate eclair. So next I put my phone in a Ziploc bag and then I pushed it down into the donut so that way I could create the shape for the dock. I pushed it down at an angle so that way it'll be nice and stable whenever I do put my phone in this. Next, I brushed it with a little bit of water and stuck on some rainbow sprinkles. I recommend letting this dry overnight with your phone in it, still in the Ziploc, so that way it'll be nice and hardened to the exact shape. This is gonna look so cute on your nightstand next to your bed, and when friends come over, you can say, hey, lick my phone stand. <laughs> It's edible and they totally freak out. So let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget to subscribe to become an official Glitter Critter. Oh, and remember to go and download Line Play. I'll be sure to post the link at the top of the description below. The first 50 users who comment with their avatar code will receive 10,000 free gems. So make sure you download it. And I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day.